I'm riding bad or what, I'm definitely a lot more down winners wise than I have been in, in previous years. Although we've had 10 days off in August, which we never had before, and I was off for a couple of weeks injured. So, um, But there's not a lot of runners and um, it, it, it has been one of the quieter summers, definitely, yeah. I presume you're tongue in cheek when you say you're riding badly. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just not riding very good horses, though. It's nothing to do with me. Um, yeah, definitely tongue in cheek. Do you, it's, do always, you... it's always the horses. It can't be me, like, you know. So <laughs> joking apart, do you sit back and think, "Aye, aye, Dickie Johnson, he's only six behind me." Is it? Ah, uh, look, it's too early in the year to be thinking things like that. You know, I, I don't really, you know. And at the end of the day, I, I always. You know, I've I've always thought it's more about me and how I perform, and whatever anyone else does is is their own business. You know, I I, I kind of try and set a goal if I can ride 200 winners in the season, then you know it's a good number, and I think pretty much it'll be champion jockey most years. So um, if I can ride 200 winners, then that would be it. Um, and as I said, it's a very you know it's a very long season. You know, I spent you know the best part of two and a half months. Injured last year, so um, you got you can't really take it for granted. You just got to take it day by day. Sometimes I think I'm a better rider now than I was ten years ago. And ten years ago, I rode more winners than anyone else has ever done. So, um, so to statistically, I'm not a better rider than I was ten years ago. That's the sad part about it. Um, but I probably look a bit more competent, a bit more, you know, professional on a horse. Finesse. Now. A little bit more finesse than I did ten years ago, um, but at the end of the day, what what I think and what anyone else thinks is irrelevant. As I said, I was a better rider ten years ago, and statistics say that. It does annoy you? I remember people saying that you're so determined, and it's your sort of will to win that gets horses home. But you've got to be able to ride a horse as well, haven't you? Uh, look, we're all different, and as I said, what people think is you know you know is, is their opinion, and everyone's going to have a different opinion. You know that's. As I said to someone, that's why they have menus and restaurants. We all want something else or we all like something different. So um, everyone that watches horse racing is not going to like watching me ride a horse. But as I said, at the end of the day, it's what, it's what I have taught myself to think that it works and if it works and if it can get me um, to ride winners and get horses to win, then, um, then I'm happy, you know. I've always um, liked looking into other sports you know, not obviously the Olympics happened this year, and it was great that they that they all won medals. Um, but you know, I've always looked into other sports, whether it be football or or, or whatever it is. You know, you, you you know, you try and take things out of out of the way other people are. You know, and and see if it can improve you. But um, you know, I like to you know, I like to try and give myself my own inspiration. I don't really think that what anyone else does is going to help me along. And racing's about to have a big change. Claire Baldy's going to be in charge. Do you think that's a good thing? Ah, uh, look, she's a brilliant sports presenter. She, and, and no disrespect to anyone else, we've got lots of, with yourself excluded, we've got lots of good racing presenters, so we have. But, um, you know, I, I did think that the radio suited you better than they <laughs> have been in front of the television. <laughs> She's not the only one. <laughs> no, seriously, I, I, Claire is, a, a, you know, very knowledgeable in all sports. Her, her research must be you know, as good as anyone's because no matter what sport she's talking about, she seems to, to know an awful lot about it. And you yourself, it's a, it's a busy race aside from racing. You've got, you're building a lovely new house here. It's, it's a brilliant place to live. Yeah, it's lovely. We've got great views, as you can see behind me. I'm, you know, we're building a house and a yard with a few stables and, um, you know, so it's, you know, it's nice. You know, I like having horses around me, like, so it's, it's, say we're going to have a yard here as well. and but. But a, a new house that I'm looking forward to moving into at some point in the, the next year or so. And you help do a bit of building, don't you? I'm better on a digger than I am on a horse, which is not hard to believe, because I'm, I'm very good on the digger. Funny enough, you say that, the site foreman might disagree with you. I just <laughs> had a word with him earlier on. It's a bit of a mess. <laughs> um, no, I quite enjoy it. I think being, driving a digger is very therapeutic, so. Um, and sometimes it makes me appreciate the, the day job that I'm lucky enough to do. And just so quickly, you're building a, a yard here as well, um, with a view to training from it. No, not training is not really for me. But as I said, I'd like to have, um, I'd like to have a few horses around the place. Just about to start getting really busy now. Finally, obviously the main goal. Don't worry about Grand Nationals Gold Cup. It's been champion jockey again, isn't it? Yeah, very much so. It's always been the aim. You know, um, I've been lucky enough for the last 17 years to be champion jockey. So. Um, 
and in years to come, I I would like to ride 4,000 winners. So um, it's not going to happen this year, but hopefully it'll happen in the near future.